Hi guys, it's the day two of post-op. I just did my breast augmentation. Okay, I'll just name it short form BA. I just did my BA yesterday at 12 noon and I'm right now in the hotel resting. Um, many people actually ask me how and why am I in a hotel. You can actually um, go back home to rest. Uh, it is a day surgery and it's only um, one to two hours long and then uh, I got to rest at the clinic for another one to two hours. Um, that was a recommended but I kind of just rest for an hour or less and I left the hotel, uh, the clinic and I came to my hotel and um, generally I am feeling pretty good. As you can see I'm not even lying on the bed right now, I'm actually sitting on the stool of the desk and uh, I just washed up. Um, I woke up this morning and um, I read a lot of reviews and vlogs and um, most people would, t would say that the first night, after the first night you would feel a lot of uh, tightness on the chest. Um, if those of you who exercise, you should know that if you are suffering from DOMS or muscle aches, usually the painful part is the first thing you got up in the morning um, because it's really 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 tight and sore. Um, I kind of expected that so this morning when I got out of the bed because I was lying pretty flat I did not get up straight and I didn't want to use my arms to support myself so I kind of I kind of rolled myself off um, I placed my my bottom my butt at the edge of the bed and I got my butt down first and I propped myself up like that it felt pretty okay uh, it was really 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 smooth and um, I didn't feel um, much pain and um, the last time I actually took the painkillers was 10 p.m. last night right before bed and um, in the morning when I got up I felt like tightness a little bit more difficult to breathe than yesterday but it was not so pain that I couldn't manage um, in fact the pain was pretty bearable yeah and that was even before I uh, I've taken my uh, what is that the painkillers and so I got up and I had some um, food basically I've been taking some shakes, I don't know if you can see them there. I've been taking some shakes um, with fruits. I've got some fruit stash here. Okay, fruits and shake. And then I took my morning medication. Then later I am headed, uh, gonna go to the clinic for a um, one day post-op check. One day post-op meaning, yeah, yesterday I did it. so the first day after. So I'm going back later to let Dr. Ho have a look at my boobies. And um, overall, I'm feeling quite okay. I'm walking around the room doing stuff on my own because I'm here on my own. And I just washed up and <laughs> as you can see, I'm feeling quite okay. And uh, yeah, so I brought some beauty gadgets with me. This is my favorite Whoa Whoa Eye Massager and Cream. So it's basically something um, which has a cream and a vibrator for you to massage your eyes. Okay, don't mind me with this thing, so I'll just continue. I hope it's not too distracting. Yeah, so um, I washed up myself. I haven't bathed yet. Uh, the last time I washed my hair was right before the op, and um, I have braided my hair. I've braided my hair since I actually washed it yesterday morning to keep it like in place and don't get it dirty or soiled so that uh, I can last uh, longer without washing it. Then um, I haven't bathed yet but I've been washing up like I've been washing my face taking care of myself and um, of course cleaning up my private areas um, not washing but by wiping so I'm feeling pretty okay and I was actually taught three exercises which I should be doing regularly like if I can I should be doing it every hour. It's a little bit painful to do the exercises. Um, they are basically not exercise exercise but they are um, actions or exercises to help you regain your range of motion. Um, I can show you guys right now. Hang on yeah. Yeah, Let me just get my stuff away. 
Okay, so the first one is lifting your arms up straight, but I kind of not be able to lift them up straight because it's still um, tight and quite painful. So I'll just do my best, yeah? So the first one will be... And the second exercise would be lifting your arms here. And the third exercise is to roll your shoulders backwards. Actually not rolling, just opening up your chest up. Yeah. So basically those are the three exercises and it looks really 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 easy and it is really easy because you are not really supposed to be doing any tedious exercise um, until uh, your full recovery which is about one to two months time. Um, but for light exercises like walking, um, you can resume them about two weeks later. So I won't actually be carrying my kids also uh, until maybe a month later because even my younger one, she's already 12 kilograms and that may take a bit of uh, impact on my boobies. Yep. Um, besides that, I'm feeling quite okay. It's just a little bit pain here and there, but I'm really, really doing things very, very slowly. So that's why I guess I'm not feeling too much pain. And um, I was surprised that this was all the pain I get, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. But because I actually watched quite a few um, vlogs on YouTube before I went for the surgery, as usual, I always do watch videos before I go for the surgery to see um, and to know and expect what I will be going through. So I think if you are um, keen to go for any surgeries, be it BA, um, double eyelid surgery or no surgery or anything, um, I do advise you to read up more and um, watch vlogs as well. Um, I find that vlogs that um, go through day by day recovery are pretty useful so that you can know or get your mind prepared like what to expect for the recovery. Yeah. Um, um, one follower of mine, she was very very fast in her actions. She kind of texted me like um, two weeks before my op, told me that she was keen to go for an op and then she actually went even before Christmas and she told me, because she's single, she's not a mom and no kids and she doesn't have any kids so um, she told me that uh, she had to rest about 3 days and she went out on the 4th day, she went to Gardens by the Bay or something for Christmas which is pretty awesome and um, I'm quite looking forward to it as well um, so comparing my own recovery with other vloggers, I feel that mine is definitely a lot better. I don't really see swelling on my boobies as well and I feel pretty okay. So anything that I'm doing right now is just small actions and doing them slowly and um, I can basically do quite the daily activities already. So I think that's good. Mm. Yeah, I think that is all for today that I'll be sharing. Um, it is now it is now 10 a.m. in Singapore and um, my appointment for the post check is 12.45 p.m. in the noon. So I'll be like resting and doing my stuff, chilling and watching Netflix until my hubby comes to get me for the appointment. And if there is any, any, up, any other updates, I will share again. Otherwise... Chill, guys. See ya tomorrow if there's any updates. Right, bye, guys. Hey, guys. Um, this is still day two post op. Um, I'm just giving you guys a little bit of update. Um, since this morning, so in the afternoon, I I went to um the doctor's clinic to get them checked. And doctor says that it all looks good and I will start to bruise and swell a little bit more 
from today. Um, currently, I don't see any visible bruising. Um, swelling wise, I can't quite feel it. But um, one of the things that I wanted to update is that I initially thought that the most painful part would be this morning, which is the uh, first morning of waking up. Because you know, usually, usually when you wake up, your muscles tend to be more tensed. Um, but I was wrong. Actually, right now, the pain and tightness is kicking into its maximum like in the past two days. Um, so like right now, I am talking a little bit slower because I, I need a little bit more effort to um, speak uh, because the tightness is just pretty intense and um, it is keeping my breathing capacity at a limitation. So it's not very, very painful. It is still bearable, frankly speaking. But it's just the entire thing being um, uncomfortable. And for me as a person that um, can't nap, I can't sleep when um, during the day and like at night last night, I got up almost every hourly to change my position because we're supposed to sleep on our backs and I am not a back sleeper. I am a side sleeper so I couldn't quite sleep even though I had sleeping pills. So can you imagine um, how hard it's going to be for me to sleep in the day? So um, overall I feel okay. It's just a little bit more uncomfortable definitely and pain. When I do the exercises I feel more painful. I kind of have to cringe my face every time I lift my arms up. It is still doable but it's painful frankly speaking and uh, I was told that the second and the third day um, is the worst so I will see how it goes tomorrow and update you guys again and um, I will try to sleep earlier today and hopefully I get a little bit better sleep tonight alright so ciao talk to you guys again tomorrow bye